Good day, everyone. Our problem is re-uploaded po. We will discuss it in more detailed way para masagot po natin ang comment. So the problem, find the volume of the cone generated by revolving about y-axis. The area bounded by the line 2x plus y equals 2 and the coordinate axis. So we have three lines, 2x plus y equals 2 and the x and y axis. So the graph, the line in red is our 2x plus y equals 2. This is our horizontal x-axis and the vertical, the y-axis. So, ang um, involved po ay love triangle. <laughs> love triangle. So, we have the vertical, the horizontal, and the slant one. Ang nabuo po natin ay triangle. So, this area bounded by the tree ang kailangan po natin in yellowish shade. So, itong area po na ito in yellow, yellowish, ang i-revolve -re po natin, i-ikot po natin sa y-axis. Ayan. Revolving about y-axis. At ang form natin ay cone na hinahanap po natin ang volume. So, yun po yung main problem natin. So, this one, this triangle, kapag Inikot po natin siya. So, ganito po ang magiging hitsura. Right angle triangle, just the same. Heto, meron po tayo dito 90 degrees. Kapag inikot po natin, ang mag-form po natin ay right circular cone. Ayan po, circle po ang ating base. At ito po yung ating radius. Okay? So, this is a right circular cone as I had said earlier. So the the task that we have is the is to solve for the volume. So what is the formula? So the formula volume is equal to pi r squared h over 3, where r is equal to the radius. And H is the height. And this is the radius. This is the height of the cone. So, by graphing, alam na po natin agad na radius is equal to 1 since half ng 2. Therefore, radius is 1 and the height is 2. Right? So, when radius is 1, squared is also 1 h is equal to 2. Therefore, 2 thirds times 1 is 2 thirds pa rin times 5. The answer or the volume of the right circular cone is equal to 2 thirds pi. Solution number 1. So what if hindi po tayo nakapag-graph? Ang task po natin Sa ating pangalawang solution is to solve for the radius and the height of the cone. Ayan. So, paano po natin ito masosolve? This one, this is the point where the line 2x plus y equals 2 crosses the x-axis. So, does it ring a bell? Yes, of course. This is x-intercept. So, here, this is the point where the line 2x plus y equals 2 crosses the y-axis. Hence, this is y-intercept. So, we are to solve for the x and y-intercept. Paano po natin yun sinosolve? Here. We will just copy 2x plus y is equal to 2. So, first, x-intercept. So, x-intercept, pag susolve po natin ito, since y is equal to 0 dahil along x-axis lang po ang ating point, therefore, isiset natin si y as 0. 
2x is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 divided by 2. x is equal to 1. Just like po sa ating grapi. Okay? So, no need na po sana ang calculator natin. But, um, we are to anticipate na kapag merong mas complicated problem, having more than one variables, paano po natin siya i-input sa ating calculator? So, ganito po yun. Kinopya po natin ito, and we are to solve for y, right? And y, sorry, we are to solve for x, where y is equal to 0. So, ganito po, dalawa ang ating variables, comma, then after that, kung ano po yung variable na isosolve natin. So, Dahil si x po yung isosolve natin, si x po yung ilalagay natin dyan. Meron po tayong equal sign, shift, calc ang ating gagamitin. Ayan. Tinatanong po tayo kung ano ang value ni y. ba si y po ay 0. So, we will input 0 equal sign para isolve ni calculator ang x. Therefore, x is equal to 1. So, ganun lang po kapag meron tayong 2 or more variables. Okay pa. So, this is, this point is 1, 0. Solve for y-intercept. Just like po kanina, y-intercept, dahil y-axis, wala tayong x-coordinate, x is equal to 0, automatically y is equal to 2. So, yes, y is equal to 2. So, dito, for mastery, dahil we are to solve for y, si y ang ilalagay natin, shift call, x is set to be 0, dahil we are solving for y intercept. And y is equal to 2. So, okay, so ayan, we have now 0, 2. And this is the question na sasagutan po natin, or sasagutin natin. Paano po nalalaman na value ng x and y na 0? Thanks po. Dito, sa ating problem, specified po na the area bounded by the line and the coordinate axis. So, x and y axis are kasama po sa ating boundaries. Kaya, kinailangan po nating isolve ang x and y intercept na ito po nag ginamit natin ang x equal 0 and y equal 0 so paano po natin malalaman na x equal 0 and y equal 0 kapag magsusolve po tayo ng point along x axis y equal 0 Kapag magsusolve po tayo ng point along y-axis, x equals 0. And this is the x-intercept. This is the y-intercept. Okay pa. Sana nasagot na po, ma'am. So, if ever na malabo pa po, kindly comment down so we can explain further. Okay. So, the volume, pi times R, which is 1, squared is all, also 1, and H is equal to 2. So, 2 thirds pi pa rin po ang ating sagot. Okay? So, here, 2 thirds pi, letter C. So, we have two solutions na. And, wait, there's more. The third one. So, since revolving, we are considering volume of solid revolution in calculus, integral calculus application. So, in po ang ating third solution. Okay? Yeah. Revolving about y-axis. Since y-axis is one of the boundaries, therefore, we will use 
this method. So, paano po ba ang pagsasolve ng this method? Here is the formula. Ang problem po natin is to revolve around y-axis. Therefore, ito po ang ating gagamitin. Okay? Gagamit po tayo dito ng horizontal strip dumampas. Ito po ay pwede po siyang gumalaw from here up to there. Therefore, kasi di ba, ito po yung ating iikot sa y, y axis. Kaya ito po, ganyan. This, pag inikot po natin yan, ang mabubuo natin ay this, kaya this method. And ang magiging limits po natin dahil Ang, ang movement po ng ating disk na ito is from here to there. Therefore, the lower limit is zero and the upper limit is two. Ayan. Ayan po. Ganun po ang pag-consider natin. So, ito na lang po. Dito na lang po tayo mag-focus sa isang formula. Around y-axis. So, here. Let's note that function in terms of y. Function in terms of y. So, palitan na lang po natin siya ng x squared. Okay? x squared. Para hindi na po tayo malito. So, x squared dy kapag to be revolved around y-axis. Hence, ito po ay in terms po natin sa x. Kasi dapat y naka ay Naka-x dito, tapos naka-y dito. Kasi dapat daw yung function is in terms of y. Kaya pinalitan na lang po natin ang x squared. Hence, this will be 2x is equal to 2 minus y. Okay? 2 minus y. Hmm, nawala. Then, x is equal to... Then, x is equal to 2 minus y over 2. Ayan na. So, ito na po yung function in terms of y. Kaya, ginawa na po natin na x squared para hindi na po tayo malito. So, ito na po ang ating formula. Kunin na po natin ang ating calculator. And, integral here. Integral. So, what is our limits? 0 to 2. 0 to 2. And, function daw in terms of y. So, x squared squared neto 2 minus y. So, ayan. In terms of y na po tayo dito. But, please note that dx po yung available ng calculator natin. So, papalitan po natin siya ng x to x over 2. Okay? Iba dito po is dy. So, y, dy. But dahil x po ang kaya ng ating calculator, tayo na po ang mag-adjust. Gagawin po natin x, si y, para magpareho po sila. Then, equal sign. The answer is 1. Bakit po mali? Dahil, meron pa po tayo dito pi. Ayan ang ating pi. At ang ating x i squared. Huwag po natin niyang kakalimutan. Okay? Equal sign. The answer is 2 thirds pi. Pare-pareho po. So, ayun po. Meron po tayong tatlong solutions. Kayo na po ang pumili. Kayo na po ang pumili kung alin po ang mas gusto ninyo. Maraming salamat po.